mothers. There's only a few left. One of them went home to be with the Lord on Wednesday. Another one is here to give tribute to her sister. So we welcome Sister Jean Newell as she gives her tribute to her sister. Amen. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rachel. She's my sister-in-law, my brother's wife. Rachel came to Tonawanda with her brother and his wife, Riley. In fact, some of his children are here today from Kentucky. She lived in Rumsey, Kentucky. And our pastors at the time went to several meetings and met Riley and Emma, his wife, and invited them to come to Tonawanda for revival service. And they came. And they brought along Rachel, who was his sister. And Rachel was about 21, I think, or 22. And I was uh, four years younger, but we sort of clicked. So I said to her, I'd like to write to you. So we started to write back and forth. And it so happened at the time, my brother um, had broken up with the girl he was going with. And he said to me, what about that little redhead girl from Kentucky? (laughs) And she had beautiful red hair. And it was so curly and beautiful. And so I said, sure, I imagine she'd like to talk to you. So they wrote back and forth, and in time, he went to Kentucky to meet her. And he seemed to click with her, I guess, because in a few months, he went there and got married. We didn't even attend the wedding, <laughs> you know? And they got married, and they, he brought her to Tonawanda. Well, you know, it was just one of those things we just loved her to pieces because she was so sweet. And when I took her, first took her to Brandon's, one of the stores in town, she was looking for, I don't know if it was a coat or a hat or what it was. The clerk said to me, where is she from? <laughs> and I said, she's from Kentucky. And she said, I knew she was a southern girl because she really sounded like it. And to the very end, she still had that brogue. In fact, my brother sort of acquired it. (laughs) We used to laugh. He'd go down there to visit and come back like he had a little southern bro. (laughs) And, uh, you know, but anyhow, she she was with him. And they, he, he went into the service. And, of course, she really was heartbroken because she was so far away from home. She finally went home to be with her mother and father until um, he cut out of the service. So anyhow, that's how Rachel got to Tonawanda. And she was the sweetest girl and always was. Everybody loved Rachel. I have never heard anybody say anything bad about her. She is the sweetest, was the sweetest girl. So we just love her. So that's my piece. Amen. Amen. Amen.